For the past two decades now, Bond Solon has been training professional experts to be expert witnesses in court. Being an expert in a particular field doesn't automatically translate into expertise in the courtroom. Developing that second skill set is where Bond Solon comes in. Well, an expert needs to be an expert in what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, but secondly, they need to know how to be an expert witness, which is a second skill set. They need to understand how to write a law report, how to go to court, the basics of law and procedure. This year's annual conference is set against a backdrop of change in the legal profession when it comes to the use of experts and the budgets available to secure their experience and therefore evidence. Uh, we want to have a framework uh, where it is easily understood by all sections, uh, including the judiciary, where and how best to use experts. I think if we can come through this period of change, then ahead there will be a, a really good and healthy future for experts within our legal system. Scientists and lawyers have to stand together on this one, and the public have to understand that it's in their interest that they have a fully qualified legal profession and a fully qualified forensic science you know, profession as well, expert profession. The key message to delegates at this year's conference was that if budgets are being cut, then work will go to expert witnesses who are the most effective, those at the top of their game. Training to reach that level is therefore imperative. Well, it's absolutely vital that the people that we're dealing with are appropriately trained. Um, and in fact, we've um, used Bon Salon several times for training of our academics. And the feedback from our academics and the training has been absolutely fantastic. Um, so again, we're, we're hoping to provide further training because it's essential that they know what they're entering into. I think it's quite hard. I mean, the, their skill set is as the expert in their own field. But what you've now got to do is to help them translate all of that into being able to communicate it to people who aren't experts in their field. The skills required to communicate as a surgeon in surgical practice are very different from those that you need to learn in order to be effective as an expert witness in court. It's the efficient and cost-effective expert witness who will survive the changes taking place in the judicial system. Those without the training and skills demanded in that new environment will be spending more time in their day jobs.